Diatoms unlock nature's secret to massive CO2 capture, according to SciTech Daily. I remember a little while back, I saw something on Netflix concerning the environment, and uh, they were telling us that diatomic sand was giving us oxygen. I never even knew that. He said, of every two breaths you take, diatoms give one breath of those. Isn't that amazing? So diatoms unlock nature's secret to massive CO2 capture. This is by University of Basel, Switzerland. The groundbreaking study reveals a protein shell in diatoms that enhances their CO2 fixation, that's carbon dioxide, capabilities, offering new avenues for bioengineering to combat climate change by optimizing photosynthesis. Tiny ocean diatoms are highly efficient in capturing carbon dioxide, CO2, from the environment, accounting for up to 20% of Earth's CO2 fixation. Researchers at the University of Basel in Switzerland have now discovered a protein shell within these algae that is essential for their ability to fix CO2 so effectively. This significant finding could inspire new bioengineering strategies to help reduce atmospheric CO2 levels. Diatom discovery and carbon capture. Diatoms, saw, though invisible to the naked eye, are among the most productive algae in the ocean and play a crucial role in the global carbon cycle. Through photosynthesis, they absorb large amounts of CO2 from the environment and convert it into nutrients that sustain much of ocean life. Despite their significance, how diatoms perform this process is so efficiently has remained a mystery. And now research is led by Professor Ben Engel of the University of Basel's Biocentrum, along with teams from University of York of the UK and Kwasei Gakuin University in Japan, have uncovered a protein shell crucial to diatoms CO2 fixation using advanced imaging techniques like cryo-electron tomography, cryo-ET for short. They mapped the molecular structure of the pi shell protein sheath and revealed its function. These findings were recently published in two papers in the journal Cell magazine. The pi shell, the key to efficient photosynthesis. In plants and algae, photosynthesis takes place in chloroblasts Inside these chloroblasts, energy from the sunlight is harvested by thylakoid membranes and then used to help the enzyme Rubisco fix CO2. However, algae have an advantage. They pack all their Rubisco into small compartments called pyrenoids, where CO2 can be captured more efficiently. We have now discovered that diatome pyrenoids are encased in lattice-like protein shells, says Dr. Manon de Mulder, author on both studies. The pie shell not only gives the pyrenoid its shape, but it helps create high CO2 concentration in its compartment. This enables Rybisco to efficiently, efficiently fix CO2 from the ocean and convert it into nutrients. When the researchers removed the pie shell from the algae, their ability to fix CO2 was significantly impaired. Photosynthesis and cell growth were reduced. This showed us how important the pie shell is for efficient carbon capture, a process that is crucial for ocean life and the global climate, says Manon de Mulder. Potential climate solutions through bioengineering. The discovery of the pie shell could also open promising avenues for biotechnological research aimed at combating climate change. One of the most pressing challenges of our time First of all, we humans must reduce our CO2 emissions to slow the pace of climate change. This requires immediate action, says Ben Engel. The CO2 that we emit now will remain in our atmosphere for thousands of years. We hope that discoveries such as the pie shell can help inspire new biotechnology applications that improve photosynthesis and capture more CO2 from the atmosphere. These are long-term goals. But given the irreversibility of CO2 emissions, it's important that we perform basic research now to create more opportunities for further carbon capture innovations. And this is on SciTech Daily by University of Basel, Switzerland. 
Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.